how's everybody doing? My name is Miles Robinson. I'm Juliette Robinson. And we have the pleasure of doing the devotion this week. So this is the third week of the quarantine devotion series. I know Abby called it something different. I think she called it the social distancing series or devotion. But anyway, we are excited to talk to you today about adapting and how we need to learn to adapt in these uncertain times because it's the third week at least for me and Juliet it's the third week working from home and staying at home just because we need to be safe and love our neighbors by not going out and with a change of plans um, adapting is just part of it and so um, first we're going to talk a little bit about how we've had to personally adapt and I'm sure each of you have had to adapt in certain ways and uh, we'd love to hear about that um, after the devotion if you want to reach out about ways that you've had to adapt um, and then we're going to talk a little bit about Paul in the Bible and how he's adapted. And so, um, Juliet, would you like to share some of the ways you've had to adapt during this time? Yes. So, at first it was going pretty okay. Um, it felt nice to almost be at home and not have to drive to work every day, just take a break. Um, but over time, it's gotten a little more difficult. Um, I, I like working. I like driving to work, even though sometimes I don't because I like the independence. And um, I was really looking forward to spending these next few weeks before our baby comes in June, just getting to work and being independent in that way. But that was kind of taken away. And so um, it really, it's just been working from home and taking a lot of walks around the neighborhood with Miles and the dogs. I definitely am feeling cooped up and having to adapt to not seeing my friends and my family has been hard and also Worrying more often about maybe some older family members is different. And so the day-to-day, -day, while it's starting to kind of like some days I wake up and I'm like, I don't even know what day it is anymore, you know? Even though that's happening, um, there's still a lot of unknown that I think makes the days a little bit more difficult. But we're getting through it, and um, we're doing, I'm doing okay. Yeah, thanks for sharing. And I, I've also had some things I've had to adapt to. So my job is... Um, I deal with people a lot, and so I have to go around and talk to people to get things done. And so um, how we've adapted is we've had video calls a lot, um, just calling people on the telephone a lot, just to make sure that we still get the same amount of stuff done as we did when we were working in the office, because now we're working from home. And so from a business standpoint, that's been something I've had to adapt in. Now from a, from a spiritual standpoint, um, I think all of you have uh, had to deal with um, church and how as New Heights we've changed how church looks, right? And so on Sunday mornings, it's a little bit interesting still to have church on the couch with our dogs nestled next to us drinking coffee because we don't typically bring our, do bring our dogs to church when we go to New Heights. And so um, just having virtual lessons, um, Juliet and I are in a discovery group and so we're still meeting and we're just calling and having community. And so um, it's great that we've been able to adapt and still partake in some of those things. Um, but it's kind of like a double-edged sword because on the flip side, um, that's also one of the challenges is not being able to go hang out with people in person and just physically be around people. Because Juliet and I both really like kind of getting out of the house, hanging out with people, just laughing and having a good time. And while you can still do it online, it's a lot more challenging. Yeah, also, I think we were really looking forward. We had a big plan that we we're going to do a lot of fun things before baby comes. We had a baby moon plan to go to Dolly Parton's show in, in Branson. Dixie we, Stampede. That's right. We had a lot of laid out plans. And then now it's all kind of gone away, which is good. Like, we understand why this is happening and we do it happily. Uh, but it's almost interesting that I can't even imagine a time before this when I could just walk out my door and get in the car and go somewhere. So it's interesting how fast things happen and how quickly you have to adapt. Yeah. But the good news is we have a God who has dealt with the need to adapt before. So um, while the coronavirus and staying from home is scary, there's the unknown, there's fear. Um, the blessing is we have a God that is bigger than all of this. And he knew what was going to happen before it happened. And he has a great plan for each and every one of us. And so um, in times like this where you have to adapt, it's great to look to the Bible to, to get truth from God about how to sometimes just take the situation. And so a verse I want to share for you guys is in Philippians 4, verses 10 through, sorry, verses 11 through 13. 
It says, Not that I'm speaking of being in need, for I've learned in whatever situation I'm to be content. I know how to be brought low, and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I've learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger and abundance and need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And so what Paul's talking to the Philippians about is that Paul has experienced a lot of different things in his life. He's been in prison. He's been in shipwrecks. And so he says, even in the lows and in the highs, he's learned to be content. And so even though these verses don't say the word adapt, um, Paul is still talking about adapting to circumstances because the ability to be content no matter what is a, is a really strong skill set. And so like our prayer for all of you guys at home is, you know, your days look different than they used to do. You're doing school online. You're hanging around with your parents a lot more, which could be tough for some of you because maybe some of you like going to school and hanging out with your friends. And now all you have are your siblings and, and that can just be challenging. Um, but Paul um, speaks the truth that we can be content in whatever um, circumstance we're in because God strengthens us for that contentment. Yeah. You know, something that's given me a lot of peace in this situation is that the reminder that God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Um, He has shown in the Bible over and over again um, how to, like, get through hard circumstances and that um, through our faith we are uh, with Him produces some really great things. And so um, a good example of this is Paul again. So um, him and his missionaries were in Thessalonica. I think that's how you say it. And he and they were kicked out, you know, they were being persecuted and they weren't allowed to stay in this town that they had all these plans to spread the gospel in. And they were obviously very devastated um, that that had to happen. And so Paul sent his friend Timothy in instead. And I expected his response to be, you know, kind of um, disheartened, saying that, you know, he wishes he could be there with him. But Paul was actually just really excited for Timothy. He was full of thanksgiving. He was saying, like, even though all my plans have changed, like, I am so happy that this is happening because I know that God has a really, really good plan. And so this for us just shows me and what I learned from it was that even in hard circumstances, um, through our faith, we can learn um, how to just trust in God more and just understand that He, even when things don't look the way they were supposed to be, when school gets canceled, when fun vacations and things that, you know, we were looking forward to, or maybe one of family member get sick and we have to worry about them. Um, God is there and if we have Thanksgiving and, and gratefulness, we can get through this with him. And I will link that Bible story in our, our questions after the Devo. Cool. <laughs> to yeah. Take care of yourself. <laughs> yeah. So um, Paul gives a couple examples that Juliet and I wanted to talk about, about how adapting is something that we have to learn how to do because life is, um, life has a ton of crazy twists and turns. You know, I don't think any of us knew that we'd be staying three weeks in our house at the beginning of the year, right? None of us expected this. But we've learned to be content and trust in God because God doesn't change even when our circumstances do. And so um, our prayer, once again, for you all is that we can learn to adapt together and um, still glorify God and still get closer to God and do the things he wants us to do, even if the setting's a little bit different. And so um, Juliet, I remember she was talking to me about some things to do, like maybe call some of your friends up um, on FaceTime or Google Hangouts and to see how they're doing, right? Still still strive for that social interaction because it's really important, but you're gonna have to do it in a little bit different of a way than you, um, you do now. And so we're gonna be sending out a couple questions for those of you that have like kind of weekly calls with your groups just to discuss um, questions about, you know, what have you had to adapt? You know, what's the hardest part about living in a situation that's new? Um, and so we're looking forward to hearing kind of the conversation that comes from those questions um, and so I think the last thing we're going to do is Juliet's just going to pray for us and we can uh, end this week's devotional about uh, adapting. Yes. Okay. I'll pray for us. Um, Father, thank you for this community. I pray that as our students watch this and end the video that they can come to you with great questions, um, that they be blessed as they read through their Bibles, that you'd guide them and soften their hearts to learn. Be with all of us as we continue to stay at home um, for this amount of t- unknown amount of time. I pray that you would bring adaptability into all of our lives, that we could learn um, that even in hard situations, that you've got us, you're holding us, and um, we just need to have faith. And so we love you. Amen.
So Thanks, we, guys. You can reach out to us at any time through our Gmails or through um, just wherever. So make sure if you're feeling lonely or you have questions, we are all here for you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.